Nearly 10 years ago, Iran introduced to the world its fifth-generation fighter aircraft named QAHER-313, Conqueror, in a grand ceremony in front of its then-president, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. At the time, the Iranian administration boasted that the fifth-generation fighter aircraft, built by Iran Aviation Industries Organization, IAIO, was superior to American-made fifth-generation aircraft like the F-22, Raptor, and F-35, Lightning. Tehran claimed that the QAHER-313 was among the most advanced fighter aircraft in the world at that time, highlighting features such as high agility and the capability to carry various guided munitions. The unveiling of Iran's fifth-generation fighter aircraft was met with apprehension and skepticism by international military analysts and aviation experts who doubted the claims that Tehran had successfully developed a fifth-generation fighter aircraft. Western military experts likened Iran's Gen 5 fighter aircraft to Hollywood prop equipment and believed it fell far short of being a contemporary fifth-generation fighter. Moreover, they considered it inappropriate to even call the QAHER-313 a fourth-generation fighter. They argued that its design and size had numerous engineering and avionics flaws, leading them to believe that the QAHER-313 was merely propaganda for the Iranian government and military at the time. Western military experts also questioned the cockpit of the Gen 5 Iranian fighter, which they claimed not only lacked Gen 5 characteristics but was also too basic and more suitable for a small private aircraft. The QAHER-313 also featured a nose section that was deemed too small to accommodate a radar, and its air intakes were considered too small for a fifth-generation fighter or any fighter aircraft. According to pessimistic aviation experts, the overly small air intakes were more suitable for drones rather than fighter aircraft. Regardless, 10 years have passed since its introduction, and the global military community still wonders about the progress made by the QAHER-313 because Iran has remained relatively quiet about its development. What is certain is that the Iranian Air Force has never operated the QAHER-313 as a fifth-generation fighter since the aircraft was unveiled to the public approximately a decade ago. Tehran continues to rely on its aging fleet of aircraft, whether they are of Russian, Chinese, or American origin, inherited from the days of the Shah of Iran's rule in the 1970s. After remaining relatively quiet for some time, the Iranian military recently announced that the fifth-generation QAHER-313 would be turned into an unmanned aircraft. The effort to transform the QAHER-313 into an unmanned aircraft and no longer a fifth-generation fighter like the F-35 was announced by IAIO CEO Brigadier General Afshan Haji Fard in an interview with the Tasneem news agency. He stated that the technology used by the QAHER-313 had reached full maturity, and it would be used by two units of the Iranian military. The latest variant of the fifth-generation fighter aircraft, QAHER-312, will be unveiled to the public in September or October of this year.